everyone, welcome back. You remember Emily, possibly? Hello. Emily was in a video with me a couple of months ago in El Pardo. And we're actually in El Pardo now. We're on the train, we're going to El Escorial. How are you doing today, Emily? I'm very well, very excited. Great, would you like to uh, tell us you know, who you are and where you're from again, just in case anybody's forgotten since the last time? Yes, um, my name is Emily. I'm an English teacher living in Madrid. Um, I'm from a small town um, near Birmingham in England. Yes, okay, Birmingham. <laughs> Birmingham again. Birmingham. We, we had the same conversation last time about the pronunciation of Birmingham. <laughs> okay, and how long have you been in Spain at this point? Oh, um, five months, more or less. Yeah, last time you were newer. And uh, has Spain lived up to your expectations in this time? Definitely. It's um, a little colder now, which I wasn't expecting, but I still love, still love Madrid. So. Did you think it was going to be warm all year? A little bit warmer, but it's still warmer than England, so I can't complain. Right, okay. And uh, do you know what day it is today? It is, it's Tuesday. But why are we not working? It's a holiday. You know what holiday? No. Uh, it's Constitution Day. Constitution Day. The Spanish Constitution of... I have no idea what year, <laughs> but I have some idea what year. Approximately 1978 or 1979 or 80 or something. Maybe I'll look this up and I'll um, let everybody know, but yeah. yes. I need to. Yes. Uh, how much do you know about Spanish history? Not enough, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well. We will continue this later on. Uh, well, thanks for joining me. Thanks again. How's my hair? It's beautiful. Great. Uh, so, this is Monasterio de El Escorial, uh, built in the 16th century by Felipe II. Several Felipe's before the current Felipe, I guess. It's a very large monastery. It's on the UNESCO World Heritage uh, list and I've actually never been inside. It's a little bit embarrassing. They have some very cool artwork in here that I've seen on TV and in pictures and they also have a pantheon with some important, well, some of the former Spanish kings and queens where they're buried. But I haven't been in because I usually come here to go to the mountains. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go up the hill. It's going to be awesome. Living there, um, living on the border. Okay, so how do you feel about this so far? I'm really excited. <laughs> Are you still really excited? I am, I am. Okay, uh, I think we're going up about two hours. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've just started, I guess. Technically, we've just started. We're a couple of kilometers from the uh, monastery. Mm -hmm. But this walk is not terribly difficult. It's called Pico de Abantos. Pico is the you know, top of the mountain, and Abantos, I have no idea. Do you know what abantos means? Abantos, no. Okay. Spanish still isn't that good. So. Ah, we'll talk about that later, perhaps. Um, is this your first time like climbing mountains in Spain? In Spain, yes. Great. Um, okay. But you have climbed mountains other places? I have. I climbed Kilimanjaro about four years ago. I think. Where's Kilimanjaro? In Africa. Africa? What country in Africa? In... oh, Kenya. Kenya? Kenya, Tanzania? I think Tanzania. it's kind of... Yeah, on the border. I think it's kind of, less. yeah, close to both. Okay. And how was that as an experience? Fantastic. Really difficult, but definitely worth going. Do you think this walk today will be easier or harder I'm than... I'm hoping it will be easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can guarantee you this is easier than climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. I don't think it's even a very high peak, what we're doing. It's probably 1,800 meters or something. The incline might be... More than so here, here's the word. Word of the day. Steep. Steep, steep is uh, empinado. Mm -hmm. um, this walk we're going to do today will be a little bit steep, but not difficult. And it's steep, but it's short, so who cares? <laughs> we'll be fine. Anyway, okay. let's keep going. Let's go. I'm filming. I have no idea why. <laughs> Anything to say about the experience so far? Bit sweaty. Sweaty? Bit sweaty. I know. thought girls didn't sweat. Girls sweat. <laughs> girls sweat. <laughs> girls definitely sweat. Do you like sweating? No. But we do. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay, so Emily. Okay. How exactly do we know each other? We know each other through boxing. And we go boxing, well, every no I can't even talk. <laughs> Try again. What language do you speak in England exactly? English. Yeah, is it real English? Of course it's real English. <laughs> but what about American English? You copied us. <laughs> we copied you. We copied and then changed. Okay, are you sure that's the story or? That's definitely the story. Okay, I mean, how much do you know about American history? <laughs> Even less than Spanish history. Yeah, okay. What year did... Um, oh, don't test me. <laughs> what year did we win our first war against the UK? England, I assume, at that point, not the UK. I don't know. No? No. Do you know how many times we've beaten the UK in wars? No. And do you know how many times we've saved the UK from complete destruction in other wars? I think you don't need much help. Don't you need much help? You need more help yourself. Do we need help? You need help. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's debatable, recent, but... <laughs> recent experiences. I don't know. I, <laughs> so the reason why I'm asking these questions is that uh, the exactly. other day I said something about real English and mm. then British English in a video, and not everybody understood that this is just my silly humor, but uh, some people even thought it was not the right thing to say. Anyway, well, you know, we can keep uh, talking about this later. Of course, I admit that British English is... The better English. <laughs> <laughs> better English and worse English and, you know, whatever. So, uh, as we were saying before, where did we meet exactly? So, um, we met through boxing, through a boxing class on a Saturday. Okay, how long have you been doing that? Ooh, about four months. I started the month after I arrived in Spain. Ah, oh, yes, okay. Mm. And do you enjoy the... Do you enjoy fitness in general? I do. I really yeah. enjoy it. Do you do anything else besides the boxing? Yes, I run uh, once or twice a week and I go powerlifting in the gym or weightlifting. Powerlifting. powerlifting. This is Emily. She is a powerlifter. Can you flex <laughs> that bicep again here? Look at that bicep. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Okay. So powerlifting, Emily. Uh, what exercises are involved in powerlifting? Um, so you, things like squats, deadlifts, uh, attempted pull-ups, bench press. You did a pull-up the other day, right? I did. I was so proud. Uh, was this? Have you only done the one? Um, up to four, four or five now. Oh wow! At a time. At a time. Ah, there you go. Please, please. Okay. It's the hardest thing is the first one. And then for me, it's really hard getting from five, <laughs> from five to ten has so far proved impossible for me. But that was my challenge for the year. So I'm quite, quite proud. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have made some progress here, I guess. We should get out of the sun. Ooh, that's better. Um, we've made some progress here. The mountains up there. I think we're just going up to the top of this and then we'll be done. But maybe I'm completely wrong. Anyway, it's uh, just under 1800 is what I saw on the map. We should be up there in, I don't know. All due course. All in due course, yes, exactly. All right, see you in a bit. Emily, are you there? Just about. <laughs> so, we're here, we're almost at the top. Mm. How do you, how have you enjoyed this so far? Really good, really good day. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, would you like to explain to our spectators uh, what we're going to be doing now? We're going to be heading to the peak of the peak. <laughs> more or less. Um, I think off the beaten track, off the, the main main path. Yeah, over here we just have to kind of walk across the rocks apparently and uh, I don't know, I think I did it once, but I don't remember very well, so it's going to be a new sort of adventure. This is like close to the top. You can see the monastery down this mm -hmm. way where we started and it's a, a feeling of accomplishment here, <laughs> wouldn't you say? I agree. And yes. if these people can do it, then if we these can. people, if can, these people do can do it, it then so can we. Yes, because we are also what? people. I don't know. Really also, competitive. Because <laughs> we are also people. Yeah. Sometimes you go up to these places and and you know I'm you know so exhausted from doing the walk so far and then some like eight year old kids <laughs> just kind of jog past me and I'm like, well, if the eight year olds can do it. Then why not me? So. Just to compete with the eight-year-olds, I exactly. I'm able to finish in this Must case. Must be done. Must be done. We don't have eight-year-olds, but we do have some teenagers, so why not? <laughs> we can beat the teenagers. All right. If I see the way. Oh no, we're back in Hello. 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 There. <laughs> <laughs> I feel. <laughs> yeah, I get this kind of strange feeling after doing a lot of exercise and getting fresh air. But there's the peak right back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Also, I haven't had coffee in like three hours, so I'm just more calm than I usually am in the morning. <laughs> in desperate need for a good cup of tea. 
Yeah, well, tea, yes. <laughs> you were saying a little while ago that you had your first coffee ever the other day. I did, yes. It was quite an experience. I felt too, um, I didn't want to be rude and decline coffee or say that I didn't enjoy coffee. So I drank coffee. So for the first coffee of your life, mm -hmm. it was pretty good? I enjoyed it. Cinnamon. Yeah, coffee you, with cinnamon. Do you think you'll be having a second coffee at some point? I think I will. I think I will. But you could wait years, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> okay. Once you get to be like a coffee addict like me, you don't even want to go a full morning without it's tea. Two I just or drink three so coffees. much tea anyway. Tea. Okay. So, always my first go to. Your go to beverage. Your go to beverage. Okay. Well, there's no tea up there, but we're going to make it up anyway, I guess, because we've come this far. Why not keep going? Why not? All right. Let's move. Okay. Okay. We made it. We did. Pico de Avantos. Was this easier than Kilimanjaro? A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and also Kilimanjaro is not exactly... Short. Uh, it's not exactly accessible. You can't like wake up in Madrid and be at the top no, of Kilimanjaro. No, not on the same day. No. no. Kind of a difficult one. Well, mm -hmm. I don't know. What are your final impressions of this? Beautiful. The views are incredible. And the snow. Yeah. Snow. snow right here and there's a lot more snow over here on the Bola del Mundo, which is a nice mountain over there. I pointed it out earlier, Bola del Mundo. That's next, right? <laughs> well, I mean, another day. It's uh, yeah, a nice place up here. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess it's time for the walk back down. Good time. Food time? All right, let's go. Oh, we're filming again. Apparently. <laughs> How's your sandwich? It's really good. It's really good. Yeah? Would you say that I um, have good taste in butchers? Yes, definitely. <laughs> I think the dog agrees as well. <laughs> good, because that's um, something I take pride in, is knowing where to get the best ham. And where do you get the best ham? Well, in my neighborhood, of course. La Latina has nothing. La Latina. It's, everything is in Tetuan. <laughs> and here. Okay, so, Emily. Hi. We just uh, got over here, and then we saw this nice route going over this way. I don't know if you can see it, maybe. Probably. And we decided we're going to take this route and then go down a different way. So, of course... <laughs> If we die, <laughs> let's just say that it's entirely Emily's fault. Definitely not. <laughs> okay, so if we die, it's my fault? 50-50. 50-50. Okay, if we die, it's both of our faults. I think we can just go down here, and then there's another way to get back down to civilization. But, you know, just in case, there's always... It's been nice knowing you. Yeah, you too. There's plenty of footage to document our last moments. <laughs> yes, our last moments. And, you know, if we're going to... Oh, to die today, you know. <laughs> Maybe it's not so bad doing it here rather than... In the city? In the Latina? Yeah, ooh, harsh. I like the Latina. <laughs> okay, better than, you know, Plaza de la Remonta, for example. Yeah. Just took it home. Better than having a heart attack walking around Mercadona <laughs> and just like, well, there's Daniel Well. She died in Mercadona with a piece of chorizo in his hand and, <laughs> you know, 20 euros in his pocket have an adventure a story to tell yes anyway no it should be fine we should <laughs> we'll, we'll keep you updated later but you know just in case it's emily's fault so that last video was not the last video i ever made yet um <laughs> you know it's still possible that this is the last video ever what do you think about our route so far so far so good we're still not lost which i think is a good thing yeah I mean, we found an actual little highway but we're trying to go down the Via Pecuaria, which I have explained to Emily that a Via Pecuaria is like a royal sheep highway. It's a historical thing in Spain. <laughs> Spanish people can correct me in the comments down here if they would like to offer a better translation, but yeah. So, um... Yeah, let's give this one a go. <laughs> we've, we've come to a crossroad, so left or right? Yeah, we're deciding Big left decision. or right, and we're thinking left. I mean... Yeah, we're left so far. Pretty much every time. <laughs> yeah, and basically... <laughs> End up in a circle. What is the worst that could possibly happen? We have to come back. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we spend the night in the mountain freezing. But anyway, that's fine. It'll be cool. We're tough, 
Anglo-American people. <laughs> That'll be fine. Well, let's head down. Next video, hopefully, in the bar. What do you think? Are we going to make it down? Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah. But we saw other people, which means we must be on the right track. Yeah, we saw other people. We saw some cars and um, I think we're getting pretty close. We'll be back before dark. I guess I will live to make another video tomorrow. <laughs> You're in luck. Yes, you. <laughs> you, you lucky people. <laughs> you lucky people will get to see me again tomorrow. Emily, what do you think? Do you agree that my YouTube channel is the only thing people need on the whole internet? Of course. And that it's probably the best thing on the internet and people could just <laughs> cancel their internet plans if it weren't for my YouTube well, channel. Of course, of course. Thank you for You're backing welcome. me up here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I provide the ham and she provides the Compliments. ego the ego support here. Well, okay, so we're gonna go back down. Should be back in El Escorial in mm -hmm. I don't know, thirty minutes to an hour I assume. That's good. So, so what do you think? Good day, I think. Yeah, nice. we made it. We're alive. <laughs> Tomorrow more. Tomorrow is not a holiday. No, but Thursday is. But Thursday is. Do you know what a ho the holiday no, is I on don't. Thursday? I'm sure you can tell me. It's like the Immaculate Conception, I believe. Actually, no, someone did tell me. Something important in the life of the Virgin Mary. So, that's Thursday, but tomorrow, back to work. Are you working tomorrow? Yeah, that's a half a school. Well, here. Cheers. Cheers.